It's getting cold. It's going to be in the 20s next week here in North Carolina, and I know a cold front's coming through. Florida's going to be like 30 in a panhandle. I'm going to talk about heaters and how you save money. A lot of people use these schoolies, the buses, the vans, uh, RVs, trailers, pop-ups, whatever they have, fifth wheels. This right here, this is a standard heater you can get at Walmart. It's just a radiator type heater. I swear by these because they work great. Anything with the radiator type heaters, I've had good luck. It's even heat. It's consistent. This is pulls 1500 watts. It pulls, this one pulls 750 on low, 1200 on medium or something like that, and then 1500 on high. You, you really got to look at the high heat because usually you run it on medium or high. So this right here is really good. It's only like 35 bucks, 40 bucks. The problem is it takes a lot of energy. Now, I found these and I bought three of them. Look at how thin it is. See that? It's got a little simple knob. You turn it. This thing is pretty good. Now, the reason why I bought three is because they weren't bad priced and they only pull 400 watts and they're the radiator type and they're skinny, you can put them anywhere. So if you have an RV, say if you wanna run two of these at 3000 watts, one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, right? You wanna separate them because the RVs, they get cold all over the place. So you're talking 3000 watts. That's a lot of amperage on a 30 amp RV. That you're, you're at your max. This, you can run, how many can you run at 400 watts, right? Now these do not put out the power that big one does, but they seem to work pretty well. We've ran, in this little 30 foot camper, we've ran two of these thin heaters, the 400 watts, ran two of them and it went down to 30 degrees and it probably brought the RV up 25 degrees. So yeah, if it goes to like in, your tw in the 20s or teens, this is not gonna work for you, but if you run two of them, it'll keep that chill out so you can run it with your furnace along with your furnace and you supplement with the electric heat so you don't blow all your propane. That's why I like these. They're, they're, they're just pretty cool. It has a tip over feature too, so if you tip it, it shuts off. I'll show you what it looks like. See, right there. Has a little knob. So these are pretty cool. This is the Walmart brand, I think. I don't know what brand this is. This is from uh, this little 400 watt heater. These are from New Air. I got a couple of these. And we actually got more right here. We just buy stuff for write-offs, you know? We need to have write-offs this year, guys. So we just spent, we're spending money. Like it's going out of style. This one right here is another one I gotta take out of the package. But like I said, we got three of them. We tried two of them in this RV and it works. It's just even heat for 400 watts. That's 800 watts. You run two of these, you're only pulling 800 watts. This one in one steady place is big and honking, honking big. This takes 1500 watts, this takes 400 watts. So I'd rather distribute my heat and supplement, supplement it with the furnace than to run 3000 watts because that's gonna drag your power down big time, cost you a lot in power. Now, if you don't pay for power in your RV park, I don't pay for power, but you're full timer or even camping in the winter, this right here is still nice because you can distribute the heat and if you only have a 30 amp coach, well, you're only pulling 800 watts. So it's like a toaster, right? So it's not as bad. You're not dragging the power. For those that have, can deal with the power, I recommend one of these. But if you can't deal with the power drag and you don't want to spend as much electricity, this is not going to cool in 20 degrees. This is called a desk heater for under your desk. But I thought they were cool because I don't see a lot of the videos showing these. So pick up one of these that work well. Um, and dehumidifiers are a must too. I have a dehumidifier right here. I'll show you. I run this in the winter too. That's a little dehumidifier. It's a GE, I love GE for some reason. And this dehumidifier, if it's a rainy day and it's like 40 or 50, about 50, you can still run it. Dehumidifier it puts off a little bit of heat, but it dries everything up. So that's, those are pretty cheap. Well, these are about 200 bucks. So I don't know, I think these may be 50. I don't know, 50 or 60 or 40. I don't know what these cost, but you'll save them electricity. This right here, dehumidifier is like 200. And this is like, I think 50, 40 or 50. I forget what it is, 25, I don't know. It was cheap at Walmart. But I'm comparing the two and I like these better because you can take less watts, it's thinner and you can distribute the heat. So you can actually run three of these, that's 800, 9, 10, 11, 1200 watts, you can run three of these, but just think, you're distributing the RV throughout the whole RV to 1200 watts and then you'd be three of these, we equal one of these, right? Well, not even that, because this will be another 300 watts. So you can run three of these heaters, the skinny ones, and still not be up to the 1500 watts. Think about it. And you can actually distribute the power in your RV. 
So if you have this cord plugged into one breaker circuit, you can plug another one to another one and another into another one. And then you have heat going through your whole RV, nice and even, and they're pretty skinny. You can kind of shove them anywhere. See? Huh? Pretty smart, huh? So that's what that's that's the tip on heating this uh, winter. Stop stop opening and closing your door. That that takes a lot of heat out. Put the little vents over your fans. You know your your fan does have the Walmart's like seven bucks. Put the insulation up under there that's designed for it with the cloth. You're gonna get a little cooler in an RV. I don't care if you're full time. You're gonna be a little cooler. It's gonna be uneven heat, but you know make the best of it and get a heater. So I like electric heat. The pro, the radiator style. This is actually a radiator style heater. It doesn't look like it on cam, but it is. Um, I like this because it, it clicks off when it reaches set point and it still gives you heat. So you're kind of getting free heat out of it, you know, once the oil t heats up. A regular regular heater that goes out like 1500 watt heater, ceramic, or a coil heater, which coils suck, but ceramic heater is a little better, but it just keeps blowing. It's 1500 watts continuously. This is 400 watts. So look into these. You don't have to get this one. I got new air because I like new air. They seem to hold up. You don't have to get this one. You can go to anywhere else and get heaters if you want, but this is what we got. If you want to get one, get one. If you don't want to get one, then don't get one. But I'll tell you what, you want some even heat and not a big power bill, get this. So that's about it for today's video. Watch our other V-blogs. Stay tuned for more. And uh, Ross from the Camper Pros and WeRB.TV, the Depraise and everything else that we run. It's too much stuff. We're just Don't do what we do. We run too many businesses. Have a good one. See ya.